Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and it's time to think about the next major release of the beta flight. Why? Because the previous major release, the 4.2 beta flight, was released, well, guess when? In June 2020. That, in the beginning of the March of the 2021, gives us, well, nine months. And nine months, it's usually to... Uh, <laughs> for something new to be born. So, in today's video, in today's video, I will show you how to get and to install and to test, if you really are up to, up to the task, the latest nightly releases of the 4.3 beta flight. Bear in mind, those are not official, there might be bugs, it's not tested. However, from my experience and from experience of other people, um, it should be at least flyable in some of the cases. So, if you would like to get to know the goodies of the Betaflight 4.3, this video probably is for you. Because Betaflight 4.3 is not completed, not official, it's not even a release candidate yet, it's just a piece of code that everybody hopes is working like it should be. There is no a single simple plan to install it and use it. If you do not want to build your own firmware and your own configurator for the beta flight, there are, however, pages that might help you with the process. Today, I will take you through the guide of how to download the nightly builds, how to download the nightly builds of the configurator, and then, of course, how to flash it to your 5 inch or 7 or 3 drone. Bear in mind, we will not be doing a setup today. Setup most probably will come in the next video. The step one is to visit the website betaflight.com and then, besides of course reading what's written over there, to scroll down to the section getting started. Over here we will have the links for the beta testing or nightly testing or however we're gonna call that for the nightly builds of the firmware so let's open this in the new tab and also the nightly builds of the configurator nightly builds of the configurator might not be strictly required however it simplifies a process a little so my suggestion is to first go into the beta flight configurator nightly repositories with the link i provided you just before and download the nightly for the configurator in this case it will be 10.8.0 on the platform you are using, I'm on Windows, so I will just download the Windows and, of course, save the file locally and then install. But we will not go through the installation process and go to the artifacts of Betaflight on the Jenkins that holds the latest nightly hexes. Here, here you have to find the file for you. Rule of a thumb. You do not search by the manufacturer of the board, but you should search by the type of the MCU used on your board because the beta flight right now uses so-called unified target. So, for all the boards based on the F405 MCUs, this will be STM30M F405, for the 411s, it will be, of course, for 11s because the F4 discovery is only for the development. We can just ignore that. And then for the F7 45s, like, for example, KQT F7, it's the F7 45. And the majority of the current F7 boards, which are based on the F7 22, you should use the STM32 F7X2 file. In case of the H7s, it's not that simple or other special targets, because the H7s are still distributed as separate hexes. And for example, for the MATEC boards, you should download the MATEX H743. But for SP Racing H7 series, you have to once again download the separate hexes. After you will download and install the Betaflight Configurator 
10.8, it's time to go to the firmware flasher. Here, bear in mind, uh, we will have to make a small trick to correctly apply the unified target configuration. Also, we will be flashing with the local firmware in the top select box, we do have to select the flight controller to which we will be flashing the beta flight. I will be flashing on the Foxeer F722 V2 target, so I'm leaving this selected, but on the firmware version it really doesn't matter what you will select over here, because the actual firmware will come from the local file. My suggestion is to use full chip arrays true because we rather do not want to hold any defaults from the previous releases when you are playing with the new major release of the beta flight or INAV or anything else it's just better to set up everything from scratch and then go to load firmware local and from your local drive to select the correct hex. I'm using Foxeer F722 V2, so my file will be STM32 F7X2. Select this file. Now put the flight controller into the DFU mode. The best way to do it is just to plug the boot button and then plug the USB cable. Here in the port section, we will now see that DFU is activated, the board is in the STM32 bootloader mode, and hit flash firmware. The process will take a few minutes, well, maybe closer to one minute, and after done, you will see that programming successful and the DFU mode in the port select was changed to the COM4 or any other COM that you have configured or the board was configured for. Then, just like with any other, hit connect and here in this dialog it's extremely important to apply custom defaults because the custom defaults will install the definition of what is connected where and which gyro to use where the gyro is connected how outputs and serial ports are mapped and so on without applying the defaults it will just not work hit close because by default there will be some problems and congratulations, your Betaflight 4.3 is installed. You want the proof? Go to the CLI and type status. You see, it's working. And then type version. Surprise, surprise. We have Betaflight 4.3.0 built on the February 25th on 2021 without, to be honest, much hassle. And, to be honest, that's all. There are no extra steps. Of course, we are still left with the configuration of the flight controller, but we will not cover this in this video. Maybe in the next one, maybe in the second one, we will see. However, for today, it's all. Thank you very much for watching, and it's just a proof that if you want to have a night list before officially released and you are brave enough to try, it's not really that big of a deal. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.